of shit. Ah, oh, she's already dead. Neither. She isn't gonna die. Of it's not gonna not. happen. I'm not here. This isn't gonna happen. It's a pretty deep mind fuck. Too bad I have to completely ignore it because I'm in full rage mode because these assholes, these cloaker fuckers, have decided to go full on ass blast mode. Damn, this must be the only game that pissed me off this much. What have they been doing down here? Who the? And here we go again. <laughs> This wouldn't be such a huge deal if a fucking aiming reticule would work properly. But no, it just goes all over the place whenever it feels like it. And somehow these guns have perfect fucking aim with the shittiest guns. How come I don't have such a good aim? I've been shooting these assholes throughout all of the levels. No, I don't get any kind of aiming upgrade. No accuracy improvements. What the shit? If you're gonna make a fucking game, make it fucking fair for one. Nobody's gonna like a game that you can't beat under normal circumstances. <laughs> challenge is alright, but then it's fucking ridiculous like this fucking shit where you have to fight four of these assholes at the same time. Yeah, that's a little too much, don't you think? It's no longer challenging, it's fucking impossible. Oh yeah, try to hit me through the fucking planks, I double fucking dare you asshole. I'm running out of all kinds of ammo. How am I gonna kill them once I'm out? Gonna use my fucking psychic abilities? Or the fucking tranquilizer which takes four hits to kill? Four very slow hits to add. Ugh. I'm so pissed off, whatever sickness I might have had because of that sore throat and shit is probably gonna get burned alive. Oh no, now I'll never teleport. Great, back in the office. We just left the office. John, this is your final power. Precognition. Don't you see? The ability to know what is gonna happen. And if you know what is going to happen, then you can stop it. You can't change the past. You're so wrong, Hansen. Okay. This isn't the past. It's the present. Yeah, no shit, I already explained that in the midst of all my rage. Who's that over there? Oh, I see. It's you. At least so, let me heal up. You even know my name. Well, I'm impressed. I know what you're doing, and I'm not going to be part of it. Leave the children alone. Don't, Don't be a be fool. You're a, you're thousand, a thousand, thousand times, times more, more interesting than Grianko's twisted, twisted brats. brats. I'm going to stop you. Really? Well, I think that's a poor choice. This ends here. However, However you, you want, want it, Dr. Dr. John Vatic, but, but you're coming, coming back, back to America, America with me. me. He the dick. Take him down. I've got to stay in fight until I can get to hands. You can't touch me through this glass. You must stop these men. How yeah. touching. 
Oh look, for the final fight, they bring in more of the fucking units! Are you fucking kidding me? Did you accidentally swap the fucking units throughout the level or what? Because this makes no fucking sense. Why are they here? It should have been a uh, cloak of cards. That would have made sense because it's the final battle, so it obviously means oh, it's time to do some real hardcore action. No, we put up these assholes instead of the cloakers. That's what I call them because they look like cloakers from Payday 2. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with these people? What's going on on the surface? I want those winterized fools rounded out. Pick up the fucking box already. There we go. Alright, ammunition. That's always nice. But now I gotta heal up. Exactly what we need. Don't shoot the damn kids, shoot the Russians. Oh look, now they show up. These dick munchers are already here. At least now they decide to show up. A little too fucking late, don't you think? Luckily, the fight here is very easy because the kids actually help you out. They fight with you, which is fucking good. It makes the fight so much easier. Imagine if you had to take all of these Russians and the Clovers for yourself. I want those winterized fools rounded up. That would have been some colossal ape shit madness, and you couldn't do a damn thing about it. Exactly what we need. What does the objective say? Find Hansel. I already found him. But you want me to do it again or something? What am I supposed to do with this kid? Am I supposed to charm it? No. The kid's gone. Exactly what we need. What the hell? I selected healing. Heal me. There we go. Ugh. Oh. So it seems like the enemy forces have stopped coming in. Something's gonna happen now. What are you going to do? This glass is bullet and cyproof. Yeah, that's what you feel. You pathetic kids. I should have had you all killed the moment I arrived here. Just because it's cyproof doesn't mean it can't be broken. Using that extra force, of course. Even bulletproof glass can be destroyed with bullets. Just takes extra effort. A lot of extra effort. What do you want? Stay away from me. I want revenge for those assholes you put me through. No! I said stay away! Don't touch me! Yes! Do it! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah, I'm gonna watch you die because that's what I had to go through myself, you piece of shit. Vengeance is so delicious. So now that the ending is rolling through, what do I think of this game? Besides that one particularly bullshit part, it's alright, it's pretty good. Has quite a bit of action, has quite a bit of story. The story's alright though. Not the miracle worker, but it's alright, it does its job well enough. Although the combat mechanics really need a good polish because in the current situation they are 
fucking shit compared to everything else. <sighs> so yeah, the game is decent. I... But I'm not gonna play it again. No. Not in a million years, that's for sure. It's one, of, it's one of those games that you just have to play once. And that's enough. Oh. I wouldn't want to sit through this shit again. So there you have it. John Vedic realized where he belongs, realized that he was in the future for no good reason, but came back to the present time just fine. He managed to make sure that Hansen doesn't get out of the cave alive unless somebody resurrects him as a skeleton. A freshly cleaned and uh, eaten off skeleton. And, well, everything seems fine. Everything's alright. A happy ending for a rather dark and grim story. Unfortunately, the gameplay does not do this game justice. In some parts, there's just too much shooting. In some parts, there's no explanations of what you should exactly be doing. On some parts, there's the most fucking cloakers. Ugh. But at least it's not an all-out rampage of ass-blasting. At least it's not a full uh, seven or something hours of hatred and madness. Only specific parts can piss you off. Which is good. If you're gonna have a shitty part in, in a game, at least have only one. Because any more than that, and you're losing customers. So there you have it. Second sight. We finally did it. I won't have to think about recording this low f load. Yeah, let's keep it alone. I won't have to record this load anymore. Uh, feels good. Feels good. Feels good to get this shit out of my system. I'm gonna feel so damn good for a while now. What the fuck? The credits are re-rolling again. Get out of here. So yeah, that was Second Sight. You've seen everything there is to see. And if anything was missed... You can find it out yourself, cause I'm not coming back to this loader load ever again. Catch you later. Oh my god, there's my aspirin. I'm gonna need like three kilos now. <laughs>